made some more progress working on the Sylvania Color TV. I found this photo fact, and this was uh, one that I got at the library, uh, library sale probably about eight or nine years ago. And it had this exact set in it. And this shows us from 1968. So I've been uh, measuring the voltages at various points. The cathode and grid voltage at the uh, H3 regulator tube are low. And I also measured the boost voltage at the uh, screen controls. The uh, screen control voltage was also low. So I'm thinking there may be a weak horizontal output tube. I'm going to plug it in here to see uh, what the boost voltage is. warm up here. This is just reading the B plus voltage. Now it's going to start increasing, but it never quite gets up to what it should. The voltage at the screen should be about 900 volts. And it gets up to about 700. Then it starts to kind of drop off. So I'm going to test the horizontal output tube. I think it may may just uh, may be weak. There's another thing I noticed too is that uh, the B plus voltage, the main B plus voltage is slightly high which means that the set isn't drawing enough current somewhere. So I'm thinking it may be a weak tube. We'll check the uh, horizontal output and damper tubes and just see. I was looking for another horizontal output tube to substitute in there, but I didn't have one here. I had a 6JE6, but this is a 6JS6. And why they TV manufacturers had to use several known types of horizontal output tubes is beyond me. This is a 12-pin tube. It seems like most sets, or I guess RCA usually uses the 9-pin tube, the 12 or the uh, 6JE6. I think I probably have one at home, but I'll I'll try putting this on the tube tester see how it looks. We're now going to test the tubes. We'll first check the damper tube. Yeah, that one tests good. Okay, we'll now check the horizontal output tube. And that one looks to be good too. So it must not be a tube related problem.